everybody. Hey, it's Laura and we're at Rain Tree Nursery. Today we're going to talk about kiwis. Kiwis are an amazing fruit. It's the Actinidia family. They are beautiful tropical vines. They're one of the easiest vining fruits to grow, especially if you live in a city. There's lots to say about kiwis. They weren't actively grown in the United States until the early 1980s. So you may not have heard of them, but you should because they're amazing. There are two main types of kiwis. There's the Actinidia deliciosa, which is the one that you're probably familiar with from the grocery store. This is the fuzzy kiwi. And it also has fuzzy leaves, big round uh, coin shaped fuzzy leaves, beautiful red on the stems, fuzzy vines and fuzzy fruit. Then there's Actinidia arguta, which is also called a hardy kiwi or a grape kiwi or a kiwi berry. It has a similar aggressive vine like this, but it has smooth pointed leaves. It has smooth stems and the fruit is small and smooth as well. You don't have to peel it. You can just pop it in your mouth like a grape. I happen to like those an awful lot. They're very easy to eat. And then there is a sub genre of the hardy kiwi, the grape kiwi. This is Actinidia colomicta, which is a very hardy, this is the one that's hardy down to minus 40. It actually wants a little bit of shade. It will pout and not look its best in full sun. So for those of you who have partly shady locations, the Actinidia colomicta is for you. Pollination can be a bit of a complex issue with kiwis. The hardy kiwi Actinidia colomicta, the Arctic beauty hardy kiwi, need a male and a female plant. And because they both bloom so early, they are not reliably pollinated by any of the other varieties. The other two varieties, the Deliciosa and the Arguta, will cross pollinate freely. The male plant will pollinate the female plants if everybody's blooming at the same time. And sometimes identifying what time they bloom can be a bit of a challenge. Kiwis generally ripen at the end of the warm times. Um, and the Actinidia arguta, the hardy kiwis, ripen about a month before the fuzzy kiwis do. As for sun exposure, kiwis offer you a little bit of everything. The fuzzy kiwis uh, really do want full sun. The hardy kiwis will tolerate full sun, but they will also tolerate up to half shade. The Arctic beauty hardy kiwis, the ones that will tolerate the really cold weather and that give you fruit earliest of all, they definitely want some shade. They will not tolerate full sun. The, the leaves will get very bleached and the plant will look really unhappy. One of the nice things about kiwis is that they are very robust, aggressive vines, very similar to a grape. Now, when it comes to placement of your vines, the males, because they only give you flowers, they don't actually give you fruit. You can be, um, you can be creative when it comes to where you place them. You can let them run up a tree. As long as they're within 75 feet of their female companions, the cross pollination will happen from bees and other insect pollinators. I've also seen male plants put on a, a beautiful arbor and kept rather tightly pruned. And as long as you keep them separate from the female plants, then everybody is easy to, to watch and to prune separately. The female plants you want to have on a nice sturdy trellis. A chain link fence is wonderful for this. It can really cover a chain link fence beautifully and you put it to good use and it's a nice sturdy trellis. I've also seen female kiwi plants trained up the legs of a deck 
so that you can kind of hide those spindly legs with a beautiful luscious vine. I've also seen them trained around deck railings. As long as it's easy to harvest from, any place that gives you a run of 20 to 40 feet is an appropriate place to put a female vine. Now to get your kiwis started off in a good way, you want to make sure to sight them with the sun exposure that they want. You want to be able to give them 10 gallons of water once or twice a week if it's over 80 degrees in the summertime. They do not want to have wet feet. So please don't put your kiwis anywhere where the ground uh, stays overly moist for any length of time at all. And kiwis also happen to be sensitive to wind. The wind will really draw the moisture out of the leaves. So either site your kiwi plants somewhere where there isn't a whole lot of wind in a nice little hot pocket, for example, or make sure that they get extra water when you have warm summer winds. Because kiwi is a fast growing vine, you wanna make sure to give them a good balanced organic fertilizer, perhaps once a year, something that has good nitrogen and phosphorus to encourage bloom production. They're not super heavy feeders, considering how much they give you, that's a bit of a surprise, but a nice little feast once a year is never a bad thing. And that's it. So thanks for joining us from Rain Tree Nursery. We'll see you next time.